Good morning everyone, we are Nicole and Miko, full-time travelers currently exploring the vibrant and futuristic city of Singapore. Today we are visiting the only Universal Studios in Southeast Asia which is located here in Singapore and at the end of the video we're going to let you guys know if it's worth adding to your itinerary. We are finally here at Universal Studios, I've always wanted to come here, this is such a cool theme park and, and to be honest I, uh, I don't have many theme parks under my belt. I have zero theme parks under, under my belt. <laughs> Shout out to Callaway Park. <laughs> That's literally a tiny little theme park in our hometown. But the Universal Studios entrance is marked by that massive globe that says Universal on it. I think if you're coming here you should schedule like 30 minutes to hang out with the spinning Universal globe before you even get your tickets because everyone's here like this is definitely a photo hotspot. I just wanted to uh, pick up our tickets with Get Your Guide. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there's lots of ticketing booths and ticketing stations here, but we actually got ours online ahead of time with Get Your Guide. We've just picked up our physical ticket at like the customer service station. We'll tell you a little bit more about Get Your Guide in a bit, but we are, I think, ready to pass through the gates here. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hi. Perfect. Singapore, everyone! Whoa, there's, there's stuff happening already. Oh, it's the monorail. It's the monorail. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's what we used to get in here yeah, today. Yeah, we took the train here. It was super easy. The Universal Studios is actually in Sentosa. It's like on this separate island. Yeah, Singapore is actually 64 islands. So this is one of the islands, Sentosa. Right away, we have been teleported into like a movie set. Or like 12 movie sets. So the main boardwalk here <laughs> is just like a cool. bunch of different like styles of buildings and yeah. they got like Hello Kitty stuff and the Minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Starbucks. First, first things first. Honestly, we might need that. We need a, I think we need a coffee. I need some caffeine. Okay, so as we're having coffee, we downloaded the app. You can get an app for Singapore Universal Studios, which is great. The unfortunate part is it shows you wait times. And there's like a couple rides where the wait time is only five minutes, but most of them are like 20 to 40 minutes wait time. So we'll see how many uh, how many rides we can fit into this day. But I will say, that's pretty cool. From here, you can see all the individual like worlds that the park has, because I think there's seven seven really? different worlds. You have like a Jurassic Park themed one and. Um, Water? Do I see water? Water world one, yeah, yeah. And then I can see all the big rides here too. to the next big attraction. We want to take a minute to tell you guys a bit about Get Your Guide, which is the company that we booked this experience with today and is also a sponsor of today's video. Discover the wonders of the world with Get Your Guide, your ultimate gateway to unlocking the most unforgettable travel adventures. Offering a vast array of activities across more than 3,600 global destinations, Get Your Guide presents an extensive selection of over 60,000 curated experiences 
that utilize knowledgeable local experts. Whether you're seeking access to renowned landmarks or in search of unique, immersive local expeditions, you can effortlessly secure any booking through their user-friendly website or convenient app. Gain peace of mind with around-the-clock assistance, free cancellations up to 24 hours prior to your activity, and skip the line privileges. You can also download and access your tickets directly within the app, no printing required. To get started, check out the link in the video description or pinned comment and book your dream trip today. Nico tells me he has to do the cycle roller coaster. So, I mean, in some ways it's good. The wait is 40 minutes, and that should hopefully give me enough time to stop feeling super sick. <laughs> She hears everybody else screaming. And I feel I'm like scared of the ride. I'm scared of getting sick. The ride well, is the, fine. Maybe on the verge of puking up there. They have like little nets above us. Catch make, my vomit. Make sure you catch any vomit that might happen. <laughs> Ew, but it looks like there are two rides here that are like roller coaster esque. Yeah. There's the cyclone and human. Yeah. The cyclone is the one that we're gonna do, and it's the one where you have your feet dangling. And the human is like on. Like, more like regular roller coaster. Regular, more like yeah. a regular ro roller you have, like, coaster. Like seats you're but, sitting in. But they're kind of like intertwining around each other, like a yeah. like a helix. So it's kind of a cool setup. But they're two different rides. Yeah, and we have to put the camera and our phones away. We can't bring anything. We literally have to put everything we own in a locker in order to go on this. So we'll okay. catch you here in an hour. And we'll tell you how it was. You all sign the waivers, right? Well, that was very cool. Well, yeah, that was awesome. We ended up doing both the roller coasters. Which one do you like better? The one with Cylon with your the feet dangling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do? I think I like that one better. Yeah, I think it was just like, it was a bit faster and like a little more hardcore. Yeah, it's kind of cool yeah. to have your feet dangling as opposed yeah. to be sit as opposed to like sitting in a chair, I yeah. think. I think. I think it was like just the ride itself though. I felt like it had more like drops and like yeah, big things. Yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true. I think what was missing is just like, it's so short. It's so short, like, yeah. Like you do one lap, so it's like 45 seconds. Yeah, and so. uh, probably like less than a minute for sure. Mm -hmm. And like we waited in line maybe like 20 minutes for the first one, maybe like. Half an hour for human, I think. Yeah, the second 30 one. 30 minutes for the human one, that's yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. Dead giveaway that we're entering a new world here is the all the ancient Egyptian statues. It's not very big, each little world there, that wow. sci fi city. And it's now really the, not. it wasn't that big, and now we're in the law or in the Egypt one. All right, next up is Revenge of the Mummy, which is another roller coaster, but apparently, once you get in there, it is pitch black. Coming through. We just got out of the Revenge of the Mummy one. That was so good. Okay. Like, so good. And first of all, it started off like nothing was gonna happen. No, like, I'm like, very slow. I'm like, like oh, okay. Yeah, it's whatever. It's good. It's good time. And then all of a sudden, it just like starts launching us backwards. And then, and then, and then it dark. Just and then dark. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's an indoor like roller coaster in pitch black darkness. It was so cool. And like, they chuck a couple like little like scenes at you or like something yeah, with a little like, bit of light, but like tri so trippy. It was so trippy. Yeah. The only thing that could have been better, honestly, is if, if it had been longer. It's been like, longer. The you whole always... thing, like from start to finish, is like maybe two and a half minutes. And it's like, so it's fast. Yeah. It's so it good. Could. If anybody from Universal Studios is watching this, please give us at least two laps in all your rides. We really need two laps, you guys. I feel like this day has really gotten away from us. Like, I think we get in line, I think it's not going to be very long, and then I realize it's been like 45 minutes, you know? Uh, so we are trying to get to one of the rides that I really want to do. It's like, the, it's a water-based ride. What is it called again? I don't know, it's like the, oh. the Lost World. That's the next yeah. place we're going now. Jura oh, I think I see it right now. Jura it's like part of the Jurassic Park section of the park. Yeah, anyways, it looks really fun. I'm like, I think you could potentially get wet. And I want to do a water ride, but like, the park closes so early. It closes at 6 p.m. So I feel like we're like racing to get everything done today. And it opens er er uh, late. Yeah, it opens at like 11. What? <laughs> All right, 
So putting your stuff away in lockers right before rides is a very like common thing, I guess. I, unless you yeah. have people that are not taking rides, they can watch your stuff. We've been basically putting our stuff in lockers every single time. Yeah. And usually it's always been free in the first couple like worlds that we've been in. But here, the Jurassic Park place, you actually have to pay. So it's like $4 for one hour. So yeah. man. And the line for this is supposed to be 70 minutes. So, yeah. Like I don't even know if we bought it in a locker time. Okay, well, I guess. <laughs> There was a sign when we started that said that you will get wet plus soaked. It's okay. Good thing I'm on fire. <laughs> that is probably the most high-tech vlog ride I've ever seen. They look very wet. This is just what I was hoping for. Spending the day together as a family. So they said you get wet, but what they really underplayed is how much your feet get wet. Like there was like a inch of water under where our feet was like the moment we stepped into the little like boat thing and uh, all of a sudden my socks are soaked and my shoes are soaked but it was fun it was super fun <laughs> that was a good one I liked it it was like the longest ride we've had so far at a whopping maybe five minutes because it was because of the water it's just speed, like slow yeah. you know yeah it was but, really good but, you know, there were some really surprising moments there's like even like a little bit of like an elevator on a like yeah, I've never seen an elevator on cool. a log right that was pretty we went cool up an elevator. it was really cool and honestly I'm hot so this was yeah. great I really needed to cool down there is uh, there are drying stations here but then they're like five dollars Miko's like I'll just stand in the sun <laughs> Now, Blue is the oldest of four Velociraptors that we have here in the park. She's also the beta of the group, so she's a highly intelligent creature, and she's shown huge developments in her ability to carry out specific commands. Now, for example... I love all the little mini, like, uh, presentations and attractions they have along the way when you're walking around. It really keeps things, like, vibrant alive. But now we're also moving towards... My boy Shrek. For some reason, I'm like most excited for this one, probably because it looks like there's a castle here. But also because like I actually loved Shrek growing up, so you know, it was important. I actually also really love Shrek. What's funny, I'm not sure if uh, you guys heard this fact, but apparently, I, I can't remember who created Shrek, maybe it was DreamWorks, but yeah. apparently the designers that they have working on films, if they were like disliked, they were like banished to work on the Shrek film because everybody thought the Shrek film would be a huge flop. <laughs> so they just like funneled all the people that they didn't like or DreamWorks didn't like into working on that film. And as it turned out, that film when it came out was like a huge hit. Uh, I didn't know that. So yeah. This goes to show, I guess. Oh, the cast. There's some sort of lesson there. <laughs> so we're starving because we've been here for like all day without any food. We managed to get ourselves some fries. Oh, they're cold. Oh boy. Yeah. These are uh, seven dollar fries. So we're obviously splitting it. And mm -hmm. um, they taste great, but they are cold. Yeah. So wow. just be uh, be warned yeah. that uh, you get ready to spend money if you're. Uh, yeah. You're gonna buy some food here. We intentionally made sure that we ate before we came because you're not allowed to bring any food in, they say. Well, I, they say that, but I've seen people like with loaves of bread and like what, really? peanut butter, yeah, like making sandwiches like on the benches. Oh, I haven't noticed that. Okay, so maybe you could try to get it through. We didn't want to break those rules, so we came with no food, but that is very expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, they're good, right? Fries are really good. Yeah, they're really good. But About seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> So if you are coming to Universal Studios and can afford the Express Pass, so you don't have to stand on the lines we stood in today, I would highly recommend doing that. Obviously, that's not on our backpacker budget, 
So if you're like us, and you can't afford the Express Pass, then I honestly think what would have made today even better is if we had organized, like, what did we actually want to, like, do? Yeah, like, planned ahead. Like, the rides we want to do, because we really, we couldn't do them all. There just wasn't enough time with all the lining up and stuff. But Express Pass or no Express Pass, is it worth coming to Universal Studios, do you think? I think if you're really into theme parks, um, <laughs> they definitely come. Definitely come. If not, then personally, I think I would do a lot more exploring in Singapore. Mm. Um, but if, if you had like, if, if you didn't have much time, if you only here for like one day, yeah, yeah, for example, don't spend or two days. Here. Yeah, but I think as long as you're here for like a minimum of three days in Singapore, then this is an awesome totally. way to spend a day. It's just, it's so fun. It's been really a lot more fun. fun than I expected. Yeah, honestly, I was really worried coming here that it was gonna feel like it was really made for kids, but I have not felt that way at all today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the channel name? We want to be the first subscribers. Uh, uh, what's your new channel name? Uh, uh, where we got to go? Uh, uh, Demetrius Parents. Demetrius Parents. <laughs> what's up, guys? Subscribe to Demetrius Parents. Wait, 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 wait. It is amazing. Oh, it's been recorded. Oh, it's been recorded. Oh, it's on. Don't worry. Is, is this on? Yeah. Is this thing on? When you guys do your, your one million subscriber um, yeah, Q and A, we're gonna send this to you guys. <laughs> Harvey and Charlie, when they were just, you know, yeah, starting off in Singapore, they got a couple yeah. of vlogs in the copper, you know? I think I got one of the film on the phone, you know? Like